coming again to this new channel. As you've seen, it's interesting, and today I'm gonna be teaching you some vocabularies. As usual, we always do vocabularies in this channel, and I really see you guys appreciate it. Oh, I did before because before I used to teach grammar, I used to do something. And please comment down below what is your favorite lesson. This grammar, this vocabulary, this autograph. I really need to know it for myself. So now we're going to be learning vocabularies, and by this I mean alternatives. When I write alternative instead of saying no, every time I like no, every time I'm like no, it's one of these no. I'm every time I'm seriously, I'm like no, and it has no effect. And someone will even wants you to repeat, we repeat the question because you like, know, and no is like, are you sure? No, but there are alternatives instead of saying that. If you're excited, please leave a very big thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel, turn the little notification, and just share my video. Without losing any second, let's get started. Alright, guys, so first we are in part ways. Are they in formal or informal? Oh, yeah. First we are the formal ways of saying no. You can say, I'm afraid now. For example, you have a neighbor, and your neighbor just asks you if you want to go with someone, with your family, with your sister, to go grab. Or maybe to bring your sister in the kindergarten. So you're gonna be like, uh, do you wanna drop off my sister with me? And be like, I'm afraid not. I still have some work to do here at home. So here, I'm afraid not. You are, of course, saying no. But then you also give a reason. Because it's, I'm afraid not. You say, I'm afraid not. It can even show that you really don't want to go with that person. You can go with another one. But then you just say, I'm afraid not and give a reason. Or you can maybe say, not really. Not really is. We talk this about liking or not liking something. So you might be like, Ah, Tracy, do you want to grab his like, Not really. I'm trying to go out of gluten for one week. Because gluten, you know, like in pizza, we found some gluten in that. And then you just like say, No, thank you. I'm really trying to get out of gluten. Okay, so you think about liking and not liking something. Or you can even say, Probably not or possibly not. And attention on this. You have to listen on how I say probably. Because you can say probably not. It is so understandable that a native speaker, a native speaker, one understand like probably not. Mm -mm. You're like probably. Probably not. So it's prob and then we. Probably. Probably not. It speaks further. Or you can say possibly not if that is really hard for you. Or you can even say not to my knowledge. For example, you went somewhere, you went at work, and then you were waiting for an invitation or you were waiting for a package, and you ask someone who works at the desk, like, excuse me, do I, is there a package for me? Like, not to my knowledge. So, you are not that sure. What's something not to my knowledge? Like, nah, I don't think so. It's like, I don't think so. Yeah, not to my knowledge is kind of like, I don't think so, but it's still a no, because you really don't know it's like, Mm, not to my knowledge, but like the chat interesting class like uh, you guys did you see the French teacher coming and taking my computer and like not to my knowledge teacher It's not your knowledge. You actually know nothing about it Second these are informal ways Certainly not Remember I told you that certainly is a very 100% sure yes so it says certainly not this is a very strong no it's not not uh. if you are really but don't say this when you are just like certainly not or like certain, certainly not people will want to kiss your ear and be like certainly not with a serious face or you can say you must be joking when someone tells you something and you don't believe it like for example you want to buy like something at the grocery shop and then they tell or maybe at somewhere you and then they tell you and then you ask like for a shirt or a sweatshirt and be like oh, how much is this and someone tell you it is a hundred dollars for just like okay a hundred dollars is not that much but let's say it's something really small and something that would just like fifty dollars like you must be joking no way I can buy this and as I say it is, no way. No way is a 100%, 120% no. I even limited. 
No way it can be seen by with a serious face. No. No way. No way. Uh -uh. No way. Uh -uh. No way. So no way. This is the hundred and twenty percent sure of the code. And you must be joking is when you're surprised of something at the time. And you're surprised in a bad way, of course. How can this shirt cost a hundred dollars? It's too much. And second law is a very strong message. Second law, strong no. You must be joking when you're surprised about it. Tell you in a bad way. And no way is our 100, 120% sure no. And for the third, these are casual ways. So, in casual ways, what can we say? Nah, I'm good. So, I'm good. For example, you know in USA, right? Um, when you go in a restaurant, they always give you free water. I don't know why isn't this case in other countries, but I just love it. When you go in USA, they give you free water, like when you go to a restaurant. And then, for example, every time they're gonna give you free water. And then when the servant comes, you maybe got three, four cups of water, and then she comes with another glass of water, you're like, I'm good, thank you. You're like, I'm good. So I'm good is no. You don't wanna show that you're good right now. You just don't need any more, like, I'm good. And then someone will be like, oh, so you don't need anything, anything else. All you can say, yep, nope, yep, and no. So, no. Well, like, first, did you do your homework? No. I'm dead. Okay? Because you know, if you don't do your homework, you absolutely are dead. Because she's gonna give you, like, a ton of things. Or you can even say, not right now. Not right now. Not right now. Or I will see the servant can come with a little glass of water and you feel like you want just to drink this after the meal. You're gonna be like, no right now, please, thank you. They're like, oh, okay, you don't want it right now, I'll come back to you later. So you just wanna inform someone that you are going, you want it later. Okay, so you can as you can say yep, no. Yep and no. You can say no just to show that you didn't do it. Like as I say, you can be like, just give your homework. No. I am there because you need to do your homework absolutely done. They're going to pay you up. Or you can even say never. Ever. Never. Never you say never it's a no. Let's let's say for example, Tracy, do you have a crush on him? And you're like, never. Well that's serious. You can say never, never. No. That shows that you're not serious and you have to let have a question. So you can be like, never. Ew. How do you even think of it? Just tell me how. Alright, these are the casual ways instead of saying no. Or you can even say yes, no, in the last one. The perfect one. Nah. Nah. Nah is so used to like, Jesse, you want some tea? Nah, not right now. You can even say, nah, not right now. Nah, I'm good. Nah. You know? So, nah, nah. We call it okay? Nah, I love it so much. It's like, nah. Or you can also say, I'll say you can say never or not. So these are the casual ways, and casual are like something really cool. It's so cool, aesthetic, something really nice. And that's it for our learning session today. If you enjoyed, please give a very big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, turn the bell notification, and also share my video. Bye guys, see you in our next learning session.